In this video, we are going to discuss about program maintenance. So let's see what program maintenance is. It is the process of modifying a software or program after delivery to achieve any of these outcomes. What are these outcomes? Correct errors, improve performance, add functionalities or remove obsolete portions. Once a program has been implemented at the client side, the users are using it, they might realize that uh, some parts are not working properly, they need to add some small functionalities. So this all are part of the maintenance work. Most of the maintenance work involves adding minor or major capabilities to existing modules. For example, some new data is added to a report or a new field has been added to the entry form or code is to be modified to incorporate some changes in government rules and regulations. All these, part, all these are part of the program maintenance. Let's see what are the different types of maintenance that are carried out. Corrective maintenance. It involves correcting the errors that come up after on-site implementation has been done. The implementation has been done at the site of the client. Errors may be pointed out by the users themselves or during implementation, the implementers find those errors. Preventive maintenance. Modifications might be done to avoid future problems. Usually, they are picked up from the list of known bugs or if there has been some change in business process, some government rules and regulations that are affecting the business. Adaptive maintenance. Changes in the working environment sometimes require modification in the software. For example, some rules and regulations have changed or the company has merged with a new company. So there are new regulations of the new companies. There are new employees. The whole hierarchy has changed. In that case, some maintenance work has to be done so that the new environment can be maintained easily. Last but not the least, perfective maintenance. Changes done in the execution changes done in the existing software to incorporate new requirements of the client. At the initial stage, the client has given you say 10 requirements, but at a later stage, when the software has been implemented, they might realize that there are one, two or three more things that they need to add to the existing software. Once they give you the list of those requirements, you are supposed to enhance your software to include that. That is the perfective maintenance. In fact, it gets its name from that because your aim is that the software should always be perfect. It should always be able to solve all the problems of your client. Now let's look at how we can use the different maintenance tools to do our maintenance work. These are some of the most widely used tools. Program Slicer. It selects a part of the program. It slices the program into small, small parts and looks at it for its performance and efficiency to see if it can be maintained in any way to increase the total efficiency. Data Flow Analyzer. It tracks all possible data flows of the whole software so that at a later stage, when some problem comes up, the people who are maintaining the software can look at those data flows and then they will point out that, okay, this data flow might be causing the problem. So it helps in the troubleshooting. Dynamic Analyzer. It traces the program execution path. Data Flow Analyzer analyzes the data that is flowing through the process and the Dynamic Analyzer analyzes the processes themselves while they are being executed. Static Analyzer. It allows general viewing and summarizing of the program, something like an operating system. It will just monitor and track what is going on in the software. Dependency Analyzer. Dependency Analyzer assists in understanding the interdependence of different parts of the program. This becomes very important in modular techniques because there are different different modules that have been developed by different set of people simultaneously. So they might be 
having some problem when they are linked together. Your dependency analyzer will do exactly that. It will detect those dependencies and if there are any problems there due to those interdependencies, it will suggest you the corrections. In this video, we have learned about program maintenance, why it is necessary and how it can be done.